I'm going to share today is entitled Pursuing Our Destiny. Ninashukuru sana kwa sababu ya neema ambayo Mungu ametupatia katika miaka ambayo imekwisha neema ya kuendelea kufuatilia hatima zetu. There is nothing the devil dreads like a people who are determined to pursue their destiny. A people who are determined to become all that God wanted them to be. Shetani akiona watu kama hao anasema hata afadhali nipate watu wanaomba magari, watu wanaomba manyumba, watu wanaotafuta proti, watu wanaotafuta kazi, lakini shetani akiona ya kwamba he is dealing with the people who are determined to pursue their destiny anasema these are dangerous people shetani angetaka watu ambao wanangangana kupata vitu chache kwa sababu anajua hao anaweza kuwatuliza unajua hata zamani nyumbani kule wakati tulikuwa tunachinja unachinja ngombe mzima umeshai kuchinja ngombe mzima nyumbani ha? ama mnachinja mbuzi ukiona mbwa imekaa hapo na ni kama inatishia hata kuja kuchukua kipande cha nyama unaitafutia mfupa unairushia kwa sababu unajua ikiwa na mfupa itanyamaza ya yeah? naye shetani akiona watu wanangangana anaweza kuchukua mfupa wa gari anawarushia mfupa wa gari wananyamaza anawarudishia mfupa wa nyumba wana... kwa sababu kile ambacho Mungu amekuitia ni zaidi ya magari ni zaidi ya manyumba ni zaidi ya maproti so shetani akiona anaweza kukunyamazisha na kitu kidogo ha hata kama wewe ni mchungaji akiona atakupatia watu tatu wakusaidia kulipa nyumba na kulipa karo na kuwa na kagari na utanyamaza atakupatia lakini akiona watu ambao wanasema ya kwamba i will not settle for anything less i want to become all that god wanted me to be anasema these are dangerous people kwa sababu gani shetani anajua ya kwamba you are called for greatness praise the name of the living god you are called for greatness but we have a challenge the bible says as a man thinketh so he is and you know especially this is a season for africa this is a season for kenya na kwa sababu we have come from very humble backgrounds mahali ambapo in our lifetime pengine in our family hakuna mtu alikuwa na gari Hakuna mtu alijenga nyumba ya mawe. In our lifetime kuna mambo hatujawahi kuyaona. Wakati tunabarikiwa kidogo, tunafikiria tumefika because of where we are coming from. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Because of where we are coming from. We are coming from a life of struggle. Maisha ya kungangana. We have come from a life where we lost our dignity. Mahali ambapo unakuta ya kwamba msichana amelewa na wazazi. Lakini zikifika zile siku zake, pengine aende atafute majani ama akate shuka ambayo ama mattress ya zamani. You know there are things you go through in life and they cause you to lose your dignity ile heshima yako unateseka katika maisha unapitia katika hali ya umasikini na shida paka sasa inafika ukipata kitu kidogo unasema Mungu amekuja hajatumana na kumbe wakati huo Mungu anasema i have not started with you nilikuwa ninakupanguza vumbi ya kwenu nyumbani ndio nianze kukubariki Praise the name of the living God. Lakini kwa sababu ile mambo Mungu amefanya, haujawahi kuyaona. Na wewe unaanza kutosheka. Bwana asifiwe sana. Can somebody say oh Lord, help me this year to pursue 
my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Mimi ninajua kwamba injiri ile shetani anaogopa. You know from when I gave my life to Jesus and I got into ministry and I got into a life of prayer and fasting, one of the things the Lord by his Holy Spirit without anyone teaching me alianza kunisaidia kupigana nayo ni kupigana na mipaka na vizuizi na mambo yale hufuata mtu mambo yale huzuilia mtu asiingie katika hatima yake na wakati nilianza kuelewa haya mambo na nikaanza kuyafundisha i remember one time mapepo yalinizungumzia yakaniambia hii injili unayohubiri usipoachana naye tutakuua kwa sababu gani kuna injiri shetani hana shida naye kwa sababu anajua hata ukiipata hautaenda bali bwana asifiwe sana ndiposa unaona hata kule misiri farao alikuwa amekubali ya kwamba wewe Musa mnaweza abudia hapa ama muende lakini musiende sana nimekubali i told you the devil is a bagainer There are things the devil can bargain with you. Anasema basi pata hii na utosheke. Ukiendelea kungangana kidogo anakuambia pata hii sasa na usiende bali. Praise the name of the living God. Lakini Musa alifika mahali akasema we are not living even a hoof in Egypt. Lazima we go with all that belongs to us in Jesus name farao alikuwa anamwambia Musa nilikuwa nafikiria tutabagain utosheke muende wanaume peke yenu muende wanaume na wanawake na watoto muniwachie ngombe sasa we Musa unasema hata ukwato hautawacha we siku ile utaona uso wangu utakufa shetani hapendi watu ambao wanasema I'll pursue my destiny. I'll become all that God wanted me to be. We are going to pursue our destiny. We are not going to settle for anything less. In the name of Jesus. Yes. I just want to share with you very quickly three keys that will help you as you pursue your destiny in the year 2018 I want us to open the Bibles in uh, the book of Philippians chapter 3 I'm going to read from verse 12 Not that I have already attained or am already perfected but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me Brethren I do not count myself to have apprehended but the one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind and uh, reaching forward to those things which are ahead verse 14 I press to add the goal to the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus I've already mentioned that one of the things the devil dreads is a people who are determined to become all that God wanted them to be. And I see Paul was that kind of a person. Because to the Philippians, Paul was a spiritual giant. Ni mtu ambaye alikuwa ameendelea. Ni mtu ambaye watumishi na Wakristo wakimwangalia wanatamani kufika mahali amefika. Lakini Paul anasema ya kwamba hata kama mnaona kama nimeendelea sana I am not yet there. Bwana asifiwe sana. And I think this is what we have lacked in the church. Tumekosa watu ambao wamefika viwango fulani vya kubarikiwa na kuinuliwa na Mungu lakini bado wanajifunga mshipi na wanasema I am not yet there. I think what we have seen many times uh, ni watu ambao 
wakibarikiwa kidogo they go back to their comfort zone it becomes business as usual you find people are very aggressive in their humble beginnings wakati wako na shida hata watu wanaogopa Mungu watu wanataka maombi hata unakuta mtu anatokea kwa altar call anaona ninahitaji tu kuombewa Mungu anisaidie praise the name of the living god lakini unakuta tukinuliwa tu kidogo jambo lile ile zeal ile passion ile push tulikuwa naye inaanza kupungua and that is why you see that in our cases most of the times unakuta watu wale wanakuja ni watu wale hawana uwezo mkubwa sio rahisi kuwa kwa kesha unapata ma, ma Land Cruiser, ma Range Rover na Mercedes au watu wa ma Range Rover na Mercedes na magarizo kubwa kubwa unajua kuna watu kuja kanisani ni kama salamu tu wamekuja kuletea Mungu na kuambia bado niko na niko sawa Bwana asifiwe sana haleluya lakini Mungu akikuangalia anakuona uko kama kanisa la Radio Kia ambalo aliliambia you are poor you are miserable you are naked i wish you would come to me anaona Mungu anaona huyu ni nini yako naye ni nini amefikia maisha yake hata ya kiroho kimari ni nini yako naye bado sijambariki na anaona kama amefika my heart desire is to see a generation of believers who are so blessed but they are still there waiting upon God. Ma governor wanaoenda mlimani siku 21. Ma senator wanaofunga siku 40. Hey! Praise the name of the living God. How and dear watu tutakao inua katika kizazi chetu. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. I was talking to one of our members, a couple who went to South Africa in a meeting. And they told me they were humbled when they went in that meeting. Bwana asifiwe sana. Haleluya, mkutano ambao ulikuwa na karibu zaidi ya watu milioni moja. Unakuta kuna parking ya choppers. Unakuta a whole family, na sio kachopa moja, ni twingi tumepangwa. Family inatoka na chopa yao, wanaingia kwa mkutano hata hawako front line wako kule nyuma wanaingia wanapiga magoti wanaendelea kuomba Mungu Praise the name of the living God Hallelujah That is the people we are raising Jina Bwana lipewe sifa Watu ambao you can still be at the back but you are so blessed and you don't have to show it because God knows it and you are not yet there Praise the name of the living God Hallelujah Watu kama hao wahubiri ambao wako na mega church Bwana asifiwe sana Kama ni washirika sio washirika wako na shida nao Kama ni pesa sio pesa wako na shida nazo lakini wako na shida na kitu moja I desire to see your glory Praise the name of the living God People who are not going to settle for anything raise they are going to tell God show me your glory Praise the name of the living God. These are the people we are raising. Are people who are going to pursue their destiny until they get to the peak of their destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the year 2018. My God, my God, my God. Watu ambao wamebarikiwa na bado hawana kiburi kwa sababu anajua hiki ni kionjo. Hey! Ira and cruiser ni vumbi tu ninapanguzwa. Bwana asifiwe sana. It is the God who picks the poor from the dung hill and he causes him to eat together with the kings. Nimekuja niwaambie wengine hatima yenu kabla hamjakufa ni kukura na wafalme wa dunia. Hey! Praise the name of the living God. And God will pick you from a humble beginning. How is God going to pick you? The grace is here to raise you up from the dung hill in the mighty name of Jesus. I raise that grace in the mighty name of Jesus. 
the grace that is going to pick someone from a humble beginning in the mighty name of Jesus. Na hata wakati wanaambiwa wewe ni manager, wewe ni CEO, wanasema ya kwamba hapa sio mwisho wangu, nitaendelea kumwangalia aliyeanza kazi njema kwa sababu bado hajaimaliza. Eh! Bwana asifiwe sana. I don't know if we have that challenge. And if you have watched and seen that we have a big problem. Once God raises us just to a very small level, we are nowhere to be seen. We are nowhere to press on. We are nowhere to strain forward. Mungu anatuangalia na shida sasa huyu ataniletea utukufu namna gani na nikusudia ni muinue mataifa waje kwake kama vile nilivyombariki Isaac mpaka Abimerek na Fico the commander of his army na Ahusath his advisor imagine the king the commander of the army and the advisor wanakuja kwa Isaac praise the name of the living god wanakuja kumwambia tumekuja kutambua ya kwamba Mungu ako pamoja na wewe kwa sababu ya vile amekubariki hey kwani huyu Mungu amebadilika hajabadilika praise the name of the living god lazima wafalme waje kwetu watuambia kwamba tumeona Mungu ako pamoja na nyinyi Tumeona Mungu anajibu maombi yenu. Hey, tumeona Mungu anabadilisha kuwapitia. Praise the name of the living God because we serve a mighty God and he is the same yesterday, today and forever. Can I get men and women who continue remaining humble and seeking God diligently because they know I am not yet there. Hey, for there is still a higher level. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Very few people like Apostle Paul who have an impact in their ministry can stand before the brethren and declare I have not yet attained. I am not yet there. And so key number one, for you to be able to pursue your destiny in the year 2018 is that you realize that you are not perfect you must realize that you are not perfect the bible says be ye perfect as your father in heaven is perfect you must realize that god is still at work in your life that realization is very very important that i have not yet been made perfect bwana asifiwe sana the blessing that god has given to me the grace the anointing is not a sign of perfection our god is a gracious god he can always give you some things in advance Si hata kazini watu huwa anaenda kuitisha advance. Wanasema mwisho wa mwezi haujafika, but I need to keep my family going. So I need some advance. So you are given some advance. Lakini mshahara wenyewe bado haujapata. Advance ni sehemu kidogo tu ya mshahara wako. Bwana asifiwe sana. Unangojea mwisho wa mwezi. Lakini hauwezi kupatiwa advance uache kufanya kazi unapatiwa advance unaendelea kufanya kazi ukigojea mshahara wenyewe wacha nikwambie ile grace iko juu ya maisha yangu ile anointing iko juu ya maisha yangu ile baraka iko juu ya maisha yangu it's just an advance ambayo Mungu amenipatia kwa sababu amesema as i continue to work in your life lazima kazi yangu iendelee lazima watu wangu waendelee kuhudumiwa lakini bado endelea kufanya kazi. 
Kubali niendelee kukufanyia kazi mshahara wenyewe haujakuja the fullness of the blessing has not yet come praise the name of the living god i am waiting for the fullness of the blessing of christ upon my life praise the name of the living god bado sijapokea the fullness this is just an advance just to keep me going just to keep you going bwana asifiwe sana but many people when they receive an advance hata zamani nilikuwa ninaona hivyo kuna watu wakipatiwa kamshahara ya advance wanaenda kukunywa hmm? anapata ya kunywa pombe jioni hautamuona kazi bwana asifiwe sana nao Unaweza kuniuliza apostle mimi si mlevi lakini kuna walevi wengi hata kanisani ambao sio pombe wamekunywa lakini ile advance ile baraka kidogo Mungu amewapatia ni walevi Mungu akiangalia anashindwa sasa huyu amelewa na nini Ha Tuna joy biashara yangu sasa turnover ni 1 million per month Sasa 1 million ni nini Praise the name of the living God Hallelujah Unajua ga hii gari siku hizi nashidanga garage Ha? Jina bana ipewe sifa. Nataka itengenezwe ikuwe mzuri kabisa. Ndio unionai kwa maombi siku hizi. Hata sande siju kama nitakuwa kanisani. Sasa siwe umelewa na hiyo kagali. Praise the name of the living God. Hako ni ka advance. Mshahara wenyewe bado haujakuja. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So Paul anasema I have not yet been made perfect. I am not yet there. I have not received the fullness of my blessing of the blessing of Christ upon my life. Praise the name of the living God. Shetani huwa anataka mtu ambaye akipewa kitu kidogo, ananyamaza. Anasema sasa unanendea kunipigia kelele si ungechukua hiyo mfupa. Ha? Unajua hata ukiona mbwa umeirushia mfupa iache mfupa. Ikuje ianze kuangalia nyama utaona hapa kuna hatari. Na imekataa mfupa. Praise the name of the living God. Si utaona hapa kuna hatari. Na wewe ukirushiwa mfupa ya baraka. Praise the name of the living God. Haleluya umepewa hiyo gari, umepewa hiyo nyumba, umepewa hiyo promotion. Bwana asifiwe sana. Alafu bado uko pale pale kwa kesha. Uko pale pale kwa maombi. Uko pale pale kwa utakatifu. Sasa najua na kamodo waka tikega. Aka kamutu kaangaliwe. Hawa ni watu wale wabaya. Praise the name of the living God. Haleluya kwa sababu watu wale ambao utamani kufanyika kile Mungu amewaitia watu hao shetani anajua they are dangerous because the devil knows even when you don't know the greatness you carry he knows praise the name of the living god he knows what you can become if you are persistent anajua kile unaweza kufanyika kama unaweza endelea to press on to be persistent anajua Bwana asifiwe sana number two, what you are supposed to do you are supposed to forget the past and press forward toward the mark of the high calling forgetting the past means forgetting the past means you forget the good and the bad because there are good things that have happened have happened in your life so far you have gotten a job maybe there is business uh, uh, doors that God has opened for you they are good things but also they are bad things the challenges you have gone through you know challenges also they can they can break you up they can cause you to become a casualty bwana sifuwe sana and we have so many casualties in the kingdom kuna watu Mungu alikuwa anawapitishia mambo mazito. Na yale mambo mazito Mungu alikuwa anakupitishia. It is part of your destiny. Bwana asifiwe sana. Because when you are born, God gave you a mixture of gifts. Praise the name of the living God and passions. The same things you are passionate about may not be the same thing I'm passionate about. So you are given a mixture of gifts, passions, abilities. Hizo zote nitakukuwezesha kufanyika 
kile ambacho Mungu alikusudia and remember you are unique this mixture that you have of gifts of passions of abilities of your personality of your experiences in life some of the experiences you may have gone through they are nasty experiences praise the name of the living god hallelujah watu wengine ambao Mungu anataka they they will come to take care of the orphans or children who are abandoned maybe they themselves suffered rejection and even at some point in their life they were abandoned but that kind of an experience was not to break you it was to prepare you for your destiny praise the name of the living god kuna mambo mungu anaweza kubali upitie and those experiences mungu atazitumia for good because you love him and you are called according to his purpose they are not there to break you they are there to make you praise the name of the living god kwa hivyo unapopitia hali fulani usiulize kwani ni mimi tu remember you are unique and the experiences that you are going to go through unaweza kosa mtu wa kufanyia benchmarking na yeye kwa sababu you are unique bwana asifiwe sana your destiny is unique so you are kind of mixture your passions your abilities your gifts praise the name of the living god yeah your personality yeah the experiences ambazo utakazozipitia your mixture is unique from anybody else na ukijaribu kuja kufanya benchmarking na sisi tutakwambia enda uombe vizuri inaonekana ni kama umeachwa na Mungu na sio Mungu amekuacha amekamp kwako Praise the name of the living God. Kwa sababu Biblia inasema atakapokuja atakuwa kama moto wa mtu asafishaye fedha. So ukiona kwako kumewaka moto, amekamp. Anakutengeneza. Anataka utokee kama dhahabu ambayo ni safi. Praise the name of the living God. Wewe unataka kukimbilia kwetu na sisi tumenyamazishwa na mfupa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Wewe unaona kama wewe ndio uko na shida na wewe ndio Mungu anasema I have a remnant. Praise the name of the living God. Niko na mabaki ambao wamekubali ni watengeneze. Watu ambao they are long suffering, they are patient. Praise the name of the living God. Thank God for what you are going through today. It is part of your destiny. It is part of your shaping. It is part of your making. Yes. Where God can use that broken marriage. Dio akutengeneze, dio baadaye wewe utakuwa msaada mkubwa kwa wamama waliovunjika moyo wanaopitia shida kama ile kwa sababu wewe ulipitia na ukasimama na baadaye Mungu akanyonyesha mwenye nguvu kwa ajili yako I send a word to somebody today in the mighty name of Jesus and I declare God is preparing you in the mighty name of Jesus you are not going to become a casualty in the mighty name of Jesus yes receive your healing in the year 2018 yes arise and shine in the mighty name of Jesus praise the name of the living God some of you you are still holding on to the past with a lot of bitterness with a lot of anger unauliza Mungu kwa nini haya yote yamenipata haujui those experiences unazozipitia they are part Mungu alimwambia David baadaye aliconfess akasema in distress you enlarged me akaanza kuona uzuri wa mambo yale alipitia wapendwa kuna hali hatutaona ikiwa nzuri tunapoipitia lakini baadaye tutaangalia tutasema thank god i went through that i have also said forgetting is not only about the bad things the good things there are people who adore who worship their successes bwana asifiwe sana haleluya 
Mashai kuna mtu amenunua gari mpya. Ana shida hapo na tower ya white. Paka mama anauliza gai, tauro yako ida hapa mwere, tower ya kuoga mwili ndio unapanguza gari naye. Sawa. Nitaosha gari na nioge naye. Yaani anasema hii gari ni too special. Praise the name of the living God. Hata kandege ikipita hapo iangushe mafi kidogo. Nasema gai 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 hiyo ndege nikiishika. Yaani hiyo gari ni too special. Praise the name of the living God. Kuna watu they adore their successes, their blessing. Na many times unaweza kosa kujua wakati your successes zimeshika moyo wako. Unaweza kosa kujua when your position umeanza kuiado. Bwana asiwe sana. Hata ukija kanisani huwezi kuzima simu. Unajua mimi ni, ni mdos. Wanaweza kunitumia message wananitaka. Bwana asiwe sana. Yani your position is more special than God himself who put you into that position. Praise the name of the living God. Paul said one thing I do, I forget my successes. I don't worship what I am and what I have. I continue worshiping he who has made me and has given me all that I have. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Wakati mwingine tukikosa kujitenganisha na mambo yale Mungu ametupatia na ushindi ule Mungu ametupatia tunaweza shindwa kuendelea. They are blessing that don't come from God. They are released by the enemy to silence you. They are released by the enemy. Na hizo baraka zingine unaweza kuzijua. Because baraka zingine huwa zinakuja na zinakuja na shida. Hmm? Yaani unakuta kagari kingine ulipata ni kagari ambako huwa kana kukura kichwa paka unapiga bibi yako. Ya? Yeah? Yaani kana kusumbua. Hauwezi enda ushirika. Ibada hakakufikishi vizuri. Kamewaka kamezima. Bwana asifiwe sana. Umeshaikuwa na baraka ambayo inakuja inaondoa neema. Even a position, you can be given a position, usikie ile grace. Because when God gives you a position, he gives you the grace. When gifts or a portion, grace was given. But ukiona kitu imekuja na hakuna neema, position ambayo inakugandamiza. Ha? Huh? Inakuhakisha hasira. Praise the name of the living God. Hiyo sio Mungu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kama jengo kingine kanafanya uokote bao mpaka kwa barabara. Tafadhali kasimamishe. Ako <laughs> kama jengo sio kama Mungu. Paka ukiona hadi kwa bili kwa barabara unasema na mama hii kama mdono wa ine Unajua ma, unasema mahali nimebakishia nimebakishia huiru barobiri ya hadiko. <laughs> Unaweka hadiko kwa barabara. The blessing of the Lord maketh the rich and addeth no sorrow. Praise the name of the living God. Kuna baraka huwa zinakuja na majuto. Paka mama anasema huyu mzee wakati yakuwa na hii gari tulikuwa tunakaa vizuri. Lakini hii gari sasa imeondoa amani kwa nyumba. Hii promotion imeleta shida. Mungu akija na promotion yake inakaa forever. Lakini gari nayo kuja baadaye inakuacha na madeni. Ndio? Kwa sababu hata mara ya mwisho imekuwa auctioned. Ile engine ulikopa haukuweza kuiripia. Baadaye ikuache ukiwa juu inakuacha ukiwa chini. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hiyo ilikuwa counterfeit counterfeit blessing. Haikuwa baraka ya Mungu. Na ni vizuri kujichunga na mirango ambayo shetani anatufungulia ya kutu distract. Ya kuondolewa. Ha? Unaondolewa katika uwepo wa Mungu. Na ni kibaraka kinakuja. Just because you don't want, want just because you want to be married Usikubali tu ndugu yoyote. Unaweza kupata mzee mwingine hapo. Yaani anakuwa by himself he is a religion. Yaani ye mwenyewe mzee ni dini. 
Unajua mzee wangu anatakanga managu. Unajua mzee wangu anatakanga unga ile unga ya CG ya, ya brown. Unajua mzee wangu anatakanga uh, unakuta ule mzee ni dini. He is a religion in, in himself. Praise the name of the living God. Sheria zake ni nyingi kuliko za Musa. Na unajua sheria za Musa zilishinda watu. We! Tafuta ndugu wa neema. Tafuta dada wa neema. Yay! Praise the name of the living God. Don't just accept someone ambaye atakuja katika maisha yako. Awe mzigo wa kukupeleka kuzimu. Baraka yote ambayo sio ya Mungu, Baba naikataa katika maisha yangu sitaki itaniondolea neema itaniondoa katika wema wako afadhali ni kugoje hey paka utakapokuja jina la bwana lipewe sifa afadhali you know why why did david said i waited upon the lord in a mire in a pit with mire clay yani uko kwa shimo liko na udongo terezi but the David said, I waited upon the Lord patiently until he came and lifted me and put me on a spacious ground. Praise the name of the living God. Sometimes afadhali kugojea Mungu mahali yuko hata kama kuna shida kwa sababu Mungu akikutoa. The Bible says the door he opens. There is no man who can cross. Praise the name of the living God. Mungu akikupatia gari ya kwanza umeingizwa katika makadideti wa magari itakuwa ina, hata ukiuza ina, inajileta paka watu nakwambia chukua tu hii wakati utapata pesa utalipa tu praise the name of the living god kwa sababu Mungu amefungua huo mlango hakuna awezai kufunga na waombea baraka za Bwana nimekataa baraka counterfeiter lakini pia nafungua mlango wa baraka za Bwana pokeeni baraka za Bwana Baraka za Bwana hazina majuto. Receive the blessing of God. I unlock your blessing. Every blessing that God has for you in the year 2018. I release that blessing. I release that promotion. I release that car. I release that house. I release that husband. I release that wife. Yes! In the name of Jesus. Okay, ni baraka zenu. Bwana amewaandalia meza mwaka huu. Mumekuwa mkiomba na kufunga na achilia baraka zenu za mwaka wa 2018. Praise the name of the living God. Finally as I finish the final key for us to enter into our destiny is we should pursue the purpose of God with all diligence. We should pursue our destiny with all diligence Bwana siwe sana. Na hiyo diligence, hiyo BD ndio nilisema watu wakipatiwa mfupa wa baraka wanakosa ile BD. Wanakosa ule ukakamavu wa kufuatilia. Wanakaa kama wamefika. Paul is a spiritual giant to the Philippians. But bado anasema, one thing I do, I forget what is behind and I press on. Paul is diligent. Paul is working hard. Bwana asifuwe sana. Ninawaombea neema ya Mungu ya kwamba tutaendelea kuwa diligent in the name of Jesus in the year 2018. Wengine wenu mkikumbuka in your humble beginnings you are very diligent. Kuna machozi ulikuwa unalia moto moto. Lakini hiyo machozi ilikauka ilienda wapi ile bidii ulikuwa naye ilienda wapi ni nini hiyo ilikunyamazisha ni nini hiyo ilinyamazisha ile bidii nilikuwa naye kwani ni nini hiyo nilipata ha yani ka advance kamfupa kana kunyamazisha mbele ni hata ungelala chini bila waswas lakini sasa kwa sababu ile suti ya zamani ilikuwa mtumba na hii ni ya boutique. <sighs> Unasema unajua white rose, dry cleaners. They are expensive. Ya mtumba ulikuwa unafulia nyumbani. 
na unapiga nafasi ya makaa lakini sasa hii inafuliwa na mia sita. hii sio ile ya kurara chini hata Mungu naelewa you understand sasa Mungu atakuelewa na kwake kuna barabara za dhahabu ha atakuelewa unaongea juu ya mia sita. haujui kile anataka kufanya na maisha yako kwani hiyo bidii ilichukuliwa na nini wakati mwingi hiyo bidii inachukuliwa kwa sababu tume succeed kiwango fulani tumepata baraka kiwango fulani tumepata ushindi kiwango fulani na kwa hivyo ile bidii tulikuwa nayo inaondoka ninaomba bwana anirejeshe bidii ya kwanza bwana asifiwe sana haleluya mungu aliangalia kanisa akasema angalia the height from which you are fallen where is your first love upendo wako wa kwanza ulienda wapi vile ungekaa tu mahali unatulia unasoma neno sasa unashikanga bibiria mkono hii na simu mkono hii unasoma ma whatsapp na bibiria unasoma kidogo kidogo <laughs> bwana asifiwe sana unachanganya zote eh? na zamani ukistaka kusoma neno ulitaka ku concentrate na ku focus lakini sasa ma, ma, mawazo yako ni kama mlevi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa sababu kuna ma WhatsApp unangojea, eh? Unasoma Biblia na kuna ma communication unafanya hapa ya biashara. E, tuma hizo zote. Pereka kwa Moroline. Andika namba hii ya simu. Na bado unaendelea tu kusoma simu hapa. Na hapa bado ni mizigo unaendelea ku. Yaani unakuta ya kwamba ile heshima ulikuwa unampatia Mungu mumezoeana mnazoeana tu pole pole praise the name of the living god mnazoeana tu pole pole na Mungu na Mungu hapendi watu wanaomzoea watu wanaoona kama Mungu ni kawaida wapendwa mimi naomba Mungu anisaidie ya kwamba this year i will pursue my destiny will pursue our destiny as a ministry tusiingiwe na kiburi Tusione kama kuna mambo makubwa tumefanya kama kuna mahali tumeenda tukumbuke ya kwamba viwango vya Mungu mawazo yetu na ya Mungu ni kama dunia na bingu vilivyo zilivyo mbali I pray that God will grant you the grace to pursue your destiny in the year 2018 in Jesus name Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you Alleluia Alleluia Ask God